The GCC countries are among the largest producers of oil, with reserves estimated at 33% of the global total. This capacity has generated significant economic development within the region, as well as substantial investments in modern transport infrastructure. The GCC economy is performing pretty well at the moment. Richard Banks is the director of Euromoney, a business and financial media source. Um, there are some high spots like Saudi, uh, the UAE and Qatar, whose growth rates are significantly above uh, the regional trend and of course above global trend. Uh, Qatar is, is about 8%, uh, trending to 5 in 2014, uh, Saudi and the UAE also about 5%. The others are still strong, but the growth rates are slightly lower. Over the past 30 years, the GCC countries have built a robust investment climate with the technical infrastructure to attract global capital. Corporations and governments around the world have partnered with their GCC counterparts, building successful petrochemical and service enterprises. Well, well the GCC is uh, linked very closely to the wider world in terms of attracting investment. Rodney Wilson is a Professor Emeritus of Economics at Durham University in Ireland. Uh, there's been a lot of investment from Asia, um, particularly in Saudi Arabia. There have been a number of joint ventures for SABIC, the Saudi Basic Industries Corporation. And what they're involved in is petrochemicals. And they produce a range of petrochemicals uh, with uh, partners from Asia, from Europe and the United States. Um, so, so there's been quite heavy investment in that particular sector. Also, uh, foreign investors have been quite interested in getting involved in essentially the, the, the domestic markets in the GCC. And and uh, have uh, essentially set up franchises, work with agents from the GCC to distribute their products and so on. Uh, so there's been, there's been investment in that, investment in servicing hubs like Dubai, for example, um, uh, which again has brought significant uh, benefits for, for, for the region, but also for the investors who have got uh, good returns. The GCC countries were keen to find a variety of methods to develop and diversify their sources of national income. Those means differed from one country to another. Well, there is a division between the three main oil exporting states uh, of Saudi, UAE and uh, Qatar, hydrocarbon exporting states, uh, who have uh, in different parameters and different structures of their economy but are growing faster than the other states. Kuwait is always a bit of a laggard, and that's for it, it, it does export oil, but it's never really got itself going in the same way uh, as the other three economies. 
Bahrain and Oman are small economies. Bahrain obviously suffered as a result of the uh, recent uh, instability there, uh, but is now coming back. Uh, and Oman is developing some very interesting projects. So in all, it's a very positive picture. The investment climates vary across the region. Um, Saudi, surprisingly perhaps, has a very attractive investment climate for foreign investors. There still needs to be a Saudi component to it, but it is it has actually received really quite a considerable amount of, of, of FDI. Uh, the Emirates too, in certain sectors, um, is relatively attractive to FDI. Um, and Bahrain has always been one of the most, and Oman indeed, but, but Bahrain particularly been very open economies. Bahrain perhaps the most economy within open economy within the region. The primary driver of the Gulf's economic growth is of course their significant oil production. The GCC has long occupied the largest proportion of global oil production, representing a dominating share of the market. The following table shows the global ranking of oil producing countries by the proportion of their production. The GCC holds 16.23 million barrels of the global production, nearly doubling the second ranked Russia, which produces 9.94 million barrels. The US then follows with 5.66 million, trailed by China with 4.08 million. More minor producers include Iran with 3.58 million, Venezuela with 2.88 million, and Iraq with 2.65 million barrels produced. Therefore, of the estimated 70.23 million barrels produced daily, the GCC countries produce 30% of that, an astounding share of the overall market. To break down specific national numbers, Saudi Arabia produces 9.31 million barrels a day, followed by Kuwait with 2.66 million barrels, the United Arab Emirates with 2.57 million barrels, the Sultanate of Oman with 0.78 million barrels, Qatar with 0.73 million barrels, and Bahrain, which produces 0.18 million barrels. Mm -hmm.